How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year to everyone watching out there. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to bring you a new segment that I'm going to be bringing over the course of 2022. It's called the two minute take. It is what it says on the tin. I'm going to take a topic that's been trending on Twitter or on the newspapers and I'm going to give my take on it in two minutes. Very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start the clock after I give the question. So I'll give the question, I'll explain some of the context behind it and then I'll give myself two minutes to give my actual opinion on it. So this is today's topic. So Nathan Patterson is moving to Everton. He's having his medical. It is all but a done deal. The fee is around about 10 million plus a certain amount of add-ons. It's believed that it's going to be 5 million add-ons. So the deal itself will come to about 15 million pounds in total when it's all finished. So should Celtic fans care about that fee, this is the two minute take. So my immediate thoughts on this is that Celtic fans should absolutely not care about the fee. They should care about the transfer, mainly because Rangers are short at right back. Nathan Patterson is one of their best players up and coming. And with James Travenier on the downward curve as a fullback, I think Celtic fans should be happy that the likes of Nathan Patterson is moving away from Rangers and going to the Premier League. Should they care about the fee? I don't think they should give one toss about the fee. Firstly, we don't know what the true fee is. We don't know what the fee is going to be. We don't know how it's going to be paid. We will find out that next year when Rangers eventually publish their books. But I think me, most people believe that, you know, Rangers, they get 15 million. That's 15 million to invest in players. That's just not how football works. That's not how money works in football. They are not going to have 15 million just to go out and buy a load of players now. That will use, that will probably be used to probably pay off a little bit of debt, keep their investors happy, and keep their books ticking over because their books were not good last year. So this money, I don't believe, is going to be spent on players. Some of it might be, but I think mainly it's going to be there just to keep their books ticking over, just to keep their investors happy. And should Celtic fans really care about whether or not the Rangers investors are happy or not? We probably shouldn't. If you are off the mind that, you know, you're hoping Rangers will financially crumble once again, yeah, maybe you'll want to care about this. But if you're talking about pure football terms, I think we only care about the fact that they're losing one of their bright pros prospects. Their right back currently starting is on the downward curve. And on the pitch, they will suffer because of this. Should Celtic fans care about the fee involved? I don't think they should. It's sort of like when Rangers get involved, Rangers fans get involved in the Celtic fee and start to sort of make up the fact that Celtic are adding millions on to the transfer fees. It's just, it's a little bit sad in my opinion that you would care about the fee involved. What you should care about is the fact that there is a good footballer on his way out of Rangers and he will not be there in the future. So that was the first two minute take off the season. What did you think? Do you think Celtic fans should care about the fee involved in the Nathan Patterson transfer to Everton from Rangers? Personally, as you've heard, I don't think they should. Thanks for watching, folks. If you do like this video and you want to see more, the Huddle Breakdown is coming back in 2022. It will be here this week. We're going to do a mid-season review of what's been going on at Celtic. So if you want to see that, if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button below and like the video as well so more people can see them. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll chat to you more in 2022.